Welcome to the Schluter Systems Tips and Tricks video series. The Schluter Curdy Shower prefabricated trays are available in a variety of sizes and configurations. However, the tray dimensions may not match the dimensions of your shower compartment or the waistline may not align with the shower tray opening. These conditions can be addressed by cutting the tray, extending it with dry pack mortar or both. Today we'll demonstrate how to extend the tray using dry pack mortar. In this example, we have a shower enclosure that measures approximately four and one half feet by four and one half feet with the waistline in the center of the base. This is slightly larger than the 48 inch by 48 inch shower tray. Dry fit the shower tray so that the drain openings in the tray and on the floor are aligned. Mark the floor around the tray to guide the thin set mortar application. The tray and curb are installed as usual. Now we'll mix a batch of dry pack mortar to fill the remainder of the shower base. Please see how to achieve a proper dry pack mortar consistency tips, tricks, and FAQ video for more information. Place the mortar in the remaining areas and tamp it with a wood float such that it is higher than the surface of the shower tray. Using the tray as a guide, remove the excess mortar to produce a smooth transition and maintain the slope of the tray. Typically, the mortar is left overnight to set. As soon as the mortar can be walked on, the schluter curdy membrane installation can begin. Prior to installing the membrane, make sure to clean any loose sand particles or other debris from the surface of the mortar. The curdy is installed as usual over the entire surface. I hope this tip helps the next time you are looking to extend a Schluter Curdy Shower prefabricated tray. Thanks for joining us today.